Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Lord Mayor, ladies and gentlemen. There was a, an article in the press a few weeks ago, slightly mocking article, saying, why should one bother? Why should one care about honorary degrees? Why should one dress up in that funny, fancy dress that all those academics affect? Well, let me say why I value an honorary degree, and in particular, an honorary degree and fellowship from this university. First, of course, uh, the fact is, as the Vice Chancellor said, uh, I was a child here. I was brought up on this campus in College House, um, and uh, I saw the birth of this university. When my father came, there were literally less than 100 undergraduates, and they were supported by charity, by generosity of the citizens of Leicester. So it is a great honor and gives me great pride and pleasure to think of my father and how he might look at this wonderful occasion this afternoon. Secondly, it's a great pleasure to be given a degree and stand alongside all you who've actually earned it. <laughs> uh, I am proud to be alongside you. Thirdly, I am proud because I believe that universities represent something very rare in a community and something very precious. I didn't appreciate that rarity and that preciousness when I was a boy here. I do now, and I ask you to think about it. A university is an important, crucial, vital element in a city because it is one of the very few institutions in our community which is affected in its teaching and in its research and in its thought, not by commercial interests, not by political pressure, but by a care for what is true. And you may think that is easy enough. I assure you that in every aspect there are dangers that prevent that focus on what is true. Whether it's to do with climate change, whether it's to do with what we should eat, whether it's true with how we should treat other members of our society. Those sort of things that are studied by university faculties. That dedication to the truth is why I am proud to be associated with the university. And that dedication to the truth is what actually inspired universities and university life throughout Europe for 500 years, which, just in case of the writer of the article doesn't know, is why we wear these costumes, because these hark right back to the 17th and 16th century, when these were the standard costumes of people who cared for learning. So I am truly proud to be given this honor, and I thank you all very much.